Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, we're back. <laughs> uh, welcome back, motherfuckers. The Brutal View Season Two. I am Terry Cruz. And I am George W. Bush. Now I'm John. And I'm Eric. Yeah. Eric. Brute died. So did Toast, and so did Barney. <laughs> Barney got the Rona. Barney got the Rona, and he did not make it. Damn, we actually killed off Barney, bro, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I, I should probably move the... I'm devastated. I'm devastated. <laughs> um, I yeah. can hear you guys. Yeah, Barney's dead. He won't be here. But Huddy will be here next week. Let's get right fucking into it. New studio. New studio, new setup, as you can see. We're ready to fucking go, people. Let's yeah. fucking go. Gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking... Never mind. Um, do you remember that uh that really nice worker that I was talking about? How he like shits in the bathroom. Yeah. And he doesn't spray, but he's just like the sweetest guy in the world. Yeah. So. Turns out he he's has gay. a condition. Oh. He's just a fat piece of shit. So season two, episode <laughs> one, or should I do season uh, episode twenty six? Twenty six. Right. But this is just season two. What should we do? Two hundred twenty six. So it goes from 25 to 226. Mm. <laughs> Should I do that? And we change everything to 100. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, where are the first 100 episodes? <laughs> like, fuck, we fucked up. <laughs> yeah, shit. Um, so yeah, it's either episode 26 or episode 1 of season 2, but it is technically the 26th episode. Uh, Trump isn't president anymore. Dude. Who knows who's president right now, bro? Yeah, we are still kind of in like, the... Like, dude, yeah. that shit's wild. Dude. Yes, that is very strange. Like, I don't even know, bro. How much more time does he have? It's like 60 days or something, right? It's still a decent amount I, of time. It was like, yeah, it's like the middle of January. And they Jesus have, fuck, really? <laughs> yeah, and they have till like, December 15th to, like, finalize the election. Which, dude, yesterday, fucking... They found, like, thousands of more ballots in Georgia. Yeah. How, well, no, Georgia, they, it won. Biden again. Oh, did it? Yeah, I just saw that. Like, oh, no shit. I saw, I got an update yesterday. It was like, thousands of ballots found. I'm like, bro, how do you not have this figured out yeah. yet, man? Well, that is fucked up. They don't have it figured out. But the recount, like, of that, all those ballots, they confirmed Biden. Won no that. shit, so, dude. That's yeah. just fucking, like, oh, it's, it was wild, dude. That was fucking, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't really give a fuck. And then I started, like, watching the news, and I was like, this is pretty wild, dude. <laughs> yeah, and like I woke up, I'm like, oh, shit, it's shit's turning around, bro. Yeah. Dude, I've never seen the whole world so, like, uh, observative of a, of a presidential election or, like, The most people like ever. That. Ever. Voted. I think over 150 million, was it? No, it was 300 million. Voted? I thought they, like, each got... I don't think... I thought it was it capped around 150, which is still... More than half the country. Dude, you want fucking... to know what I want to talk about? Is why the fuck is there a Libertarian Party and a Green Party? Yo, I don't know. I was thinking that Because I'm thing. like, that literally fucked everything up, bro. Oh, yeah, so it's like 150,000. My bad. Million. Yeah, million, man. Yeah. But, like, dude, if you think about it, that fucked everything up, dude. Yeah. Because yeah. just think, if those votes went to either one of them... The fucking one of them would have won, and we wouldn't have all these fucking bullshit, dude. Yeah, and it's like that is kind of true, it, dude. If you go to the <laughs> Senate, it's it's Republican or Democrat. There's no oh, I'm a Libertarian. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the Green Party. Our government has none of these people, bro. Yeah. So what? I know, like you can vote for who you want, bro. But it's like that's such a flawed system, man. It's like so random. Yeah, dude. that is really true, though. Like they kind of fucked. Like I don't know that. Makes me rethink. So in 2016, it's like Kanye, bro. He got like 50,000 votes or some shit in Tennessee really? alone. Yeah. It's something wild, dude. And it's like, what? Good for him. I wish I could get 50,000 votes. Didn't Harambe get like uh, over 100,000? Oh, he think got like so. a fuck ton of votes. Well, do you hear what happened to, uh, what was it, Nevada? How they never announced it for a while? I did, yeah. Yeah, Kanye won it, bro, and they had to change it. They Jesus didn't know how to tell Christ. the people. Yeah. My cousin lives out there. He's like, yeah, man, we all voted for Kanye. I don't really know what to say to that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, I don't know how to react to that. <laughs> um, yeah, shit. Well, yeah, I guess so. We got President-elect <laughs> fucking Biden. 
Uh, yeah. The country's still retarded. It's still going to stay retarded no yeah. matter who's in office. The government's flawed. All I know is, dude, I got a really bad voting accident. <laughs> All my guns are on that shit, bro, in the middle of the ocean. I have no more guns. Yeah. Dude. I can never hunt and shoot again. Yeah. You know, Shucks. when I came to the new studio setup, uh, the moving truck, like, they hit a really bad bump and the safe just flew out of it. And <sighs> never, it's, it's, gone. it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Right in this so. fucking spigot river, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we don't know what to do about it, so, yeah. I guess that's that. Uh, that's that. I'll kind of stay around political shit, so COVID. The first. Dude, the Rona is fucking rev- 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 yeah. revving up, dude. Yeah. Like, bad. Fuck, I'm about to drop the clutch on that and fucking <laughs> grind the gears. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, so I have a wild theory about this, but I'll start with the FDA approved a coronavirus vaccine on November 18th. When is this coming out? Like the 23rd or something? Uh, FDA approved the first COVID test November 18th. Test or vaccine? Vaccine, sorry. All right. Do you think that they had that shit? No. Yeah. For a while, but they were just waiting for the election to say the Dude, I saw a video it. months ago, dude, where like some guy was like a he's like a YouTuber, I guess you can say, Facebooker. But he's like, Oh, I'm in this country and like this is like the process of a vaccine. They're like, Yeah, this is pretty close to being done. Like we're on like our second trial. I'm like, damn, that was pretty quick. And then like I never heard anything about it. I was like, Oh, they probably yeah. fucked up and then like all of a sudden the vaccine, and I'm like, yeah, those slime, dude. The fucking cases are going up. Bro. Yeah, dude, they're shooting. Here, the fuck it's getting up. bad. It's getting real, dude. The, we have a mask mandate now. That it was signed this morning. Yeah, but it's. it's do you see it, hear about it? Yeah. It's a mandate. You don't get in trouble. Yeah, you can't get it, like fined. No, you can't get he, the governor was like, you should just wear a mask. Exactly. Yeah. If you're near Mandating's people, mandating's like what, like. I strongly suggest. Yeah, you do this. he's like, I'm not telling you to do this, but I recommend you should because we're getting some backlash. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, kind of surprised Governor Sununu was the one who put that out, but like in the tweet that he said, he literally was like, "We thought of every possibility before we came to this decision," yeah. so I knew he was trying to fight it, you know, because he's like not that type of like, like he's like, I don't like we're Bro, outside. We're I heard some fucking... crazy shit about that dude. I'm not Sununu? getting into it. I'll we talk. shouldn't. We're a New Hampshire podcast. We should. I don't know. Should we? We shouldn't. Is it bad? Oh, it's bad. Like it's about his father, dude. Well, now we got to do it, <laughs> dude. I guess his dad is rich, and he's like giving all this money overseas to like these like militia groups. I don't, dude. I don't know the story, bro. But it's some crazy shit like that where he's giving money to these people fighting, bro, and he's getting this money back. I don't know. It's some weird shit like that. Someone told me about it. Don't oh, know if it's no. true. But I was like, that's fucking sick, dude. Because, like, <laughs> that's my sick. governor's dad, dude. <laughs> fucking killing little kids. I like Governor Sununu, but damn, that would be rough to Yeah, he's, I think he's pretty. See, why do we have a, a Republican? He's a Republican, right? Yeah. So we have a Republican governor that, like, got blown the fucking votes out of the water. But Biden won by like over a hundred thousand this year. Yeah, and New Hampshire was, I think, both elector, whatever, all of New Hampshire was Biden too. They were all yeah. There was de- one de- county that completely red up top. Yeah. Last time I saw, but like, I don't know. I feel like I drive around. There's a lot of Trump motherfuckers. It does dude. seem like that. It's weird. It it's all the we- seem... old people that hide. I feel yeah. like that are just like fuck it. I'm not gonna make a big deal. About I don't it. know, dude. The, the, especially South New Hampshire, like around us, basically, it's populated of. Fuck ton in the past twenty years. Well, the big thing is, Probably like someone said, it's like just people from Massachusetts. They're always Democratic. Yeah, they come right up here because of taxes. Yeah. Same thing with Texas. Yep. Dude, they almost lost. Yeah. I can't believe Georgia lost, bro. They're <laughs> yeah. all like, "Woo!" Yeah. I want to kiss my cousin. Yeah. yeah. But now people from California are moving to fucking Texas and then bringing like their the government's views or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. So Did I'm you like, see the California governor was caught without his mask at like a, a dinner with like fifteen people, and he told everyone in the state like they were required to wear masks. Oh, really? like it was like enforced by the law. And he oh, was like caught what? without a mask. Oh my god, dude! What a piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you're <laughs> like, a fucking idiot. Yeah, that's just power. That's just the lust for control. That's all that is. Yeah, fucking dickhead. How did we get back into politics? Weren't we talking about Ooh. the vaccine? Yeah, it came into politics. That is kind of political, yeah. Because they've definitely had it for a while. But yeah, that's just wild. Yeah. But I mean, they're giving vaccines out. Uh, are you going to get one? 
If it's for free, fuck it. I don't get yeah, health insurance. Be for free, I think. By the time it comes out, I'll have health insurance. Actually, they probably are going to do it for free, but I'm not getting it. See, dude, it's so weird, though. Dude, like, this I give is a, a wild fuck. theory I was thinking of. It's going to turn people to zombies. I know it's a that little far fetched. Sick, dude. I am legend is kind of based on that, right? Yeah, right. The vaccine for something Bro, will turn people to zombies. Have you seen that new movie coming out? Um, Tenet, I think is called. No. It's like COVID twenty three and yeah. the fucking yeah. Uh, I, I know exactly what you're called, talking about. Though? Yeah, that looks banana land, that looks dude. Phenomenal. <laughs> that looks. Sick. I thought it was called Tenet no. for some reason. It's definitely not called that. No. How do you look it up? Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, I know, we're just going to wait for him to go, Psh, it's this movie. <laughs> and then just, it's going to be perfect, dude. I don't know why I made his voice like that. I kind of don't really. Like a fucking alien. Yeah, either way. Um, yeah, that shit's wild. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm going to take the vaccine immediately. I'm going to see, I'm, I'm going to let a oh. lot of my friends and family take it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to see. <laughs> this is kind of like a flu, like we've said in the past, right? So, like, why aren't they making me... I feel like they're going to, like, be like, you need to get this vaccine, pretty much. Like, they're going to force it on you. But I really feel like they don't force the flu vaccine. Or if they give this one out for free, yeah. why don't they put the flu vaccine out for free? Like, what the fuck is the difference? I don't have a logical answer to that. I'm, I'm all about the fact that they're zombies, just trying to control bro. us, dude. Meth head. They're just trying to control us. Meth head to zombies. If they can force everyone to take vaccines for shit like COVID now, it's not going to stop now. It will put a little going. fucking, like, particle chip in it, dude. Well, that's... Yeah, there you go. That's steep. <laughs> fucking track you. I don't understand that, bro. The, like, the Elon Musk thing with him making the thing like, I'd never do that. I don't want the government to track me. It's like, bro, you got a cell phone in your pocket. Yeah. They're probably listening to you right now. So I'm right. out, bro. They could like yeah. pull it up and be like, oh, he said fucking he's going to kill a Jew. Fuck. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't give a fuck. Right. I really don't, bro. Yeah. If I lived uh, in the middle of nowhere, maybe, but it's like... Dude, I'm not going to lie. I feel like the most that people are hiding, if it's not something like really criminal and dark and illegal as fuck, is the, the porn, porn they, they watch. watch. <laughs> <laughs> or the sexuality. Yes, yeah. Well, not anymore, dude. It's 2020. And, um, the, dude, I could fuck a cat. All of your internet providers can fully see and monitor the porn you watch. The only way that your internet providers don't do that is if you get a VPN, virtuous private network, or virtual. Dude, those things are dope. They're dope as fuck. I have like, one. You can do you. You could like be it's in not like not here, unfortunately, but you could be in like China, bro, and like not be in China. Yeah. Making sure nothing turned off when that happened. <laughs> it's haunted. Um, yeah. Um. Dude, what would you do if this place was haunted? It could be. Like, man, you just got, like, your booty hole split open by a ghost in the middle of the night, dude. I probably wouldn't stop it. <laughs> Think about that, dude. What do you mean, though? Would it be, like, aggressive? Or would it just be, like, a Like, little... you're sleeping, like, you, do you sleep on your stomach, bro? Yeah, So one day you're going to be sleeping on your stomach, bro, and you're going to feel like something just push your head down, bro, and your booty hole's going to go straight up in the air, bro, and then it's going to go... My <laughs> waist is just going to shoot up, and then... It's going to fuck the shit out of you, dude. That'd be wild. Imagine ghosts could fuck you. We'd have a very different world, I tell you that. That would be sick. <laughs> that would not be sick. Dude, did you know? I, I wanted to bring this up. I'm talking about ghosts now. Okay. So you know how, like, Christmas is Santa, mm -hmm. the Easter Bunny is the, like, Easter is the Easter Bunny, whatever, fucking, so on and so forth. You know Halloween has one, bro? No. About a night guy named, so quick thing, he's named Jack. He fucking is a, the town alcoholic. I do know this. Right? The devil comes to see him. He's like, yo, this and that. Fucking devil forgets about him, comes back. He fucking does an apple, fucking some bullshit. <laughs> but then he fucking like, so he's like, I can't go to heaven. I can't go to hell, fucking pretty much. And he's like, what do I do? So he gives him a light and he yeah. comes to Jack o' Lantern, bro. Jack o' Lantern, yeah. Dude, I was like, this is fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> I actually think they tried to make a movie about something like that too, but it, it was not successful from what I remember. That'd be a pretty good movie. I feel like that's a movie Johnny Depp would play. Johnny Depp, dude, you know he never got a fucking Oscar? Johnny Depp. Neither did fucking Leonardo DiCaprio to that fucking movie where he's fighting a bear. He got an Oscar for The Revenant? Yeah. Really? That's the only Oscar he's gotten, bro. 
Yeah, he's had so much better performances. Like in Django. Oh, I don't need to see that. Dude. Yeah, yeah, no, that wasn't better. I shouldn't even say that because he was very racist and horrible. That whole movie did play the performance really well, but I can't imagine it would be. That and bad. for the most racist Oscar of the <laughs> yeah. year, Leo. Imagine giving an Oscar to like someone who's just said the N-bomb most N bomb fifty times. Most N words in a movie. <laughs> the guy Samuel Jackson. This motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's fucked up though johnny depp has never gotten an oscar dude you hear about him. johnny depp dude his girls being him yeah that shit's banana land you know that's bro. why he fell out of the uh the pirates franchise he's not jack sparrow anymore what? disney like they like were like nah we're not we're dude, not gonna disney associate sucks, with you dude. disney's trash i watched this like the og star wars like episodes one two and three not like the old old ones but the, the prequels right I'm like damn these were good imagine they made the last three movies like this and yeah. i was like they fucked that whole mo-. you can go on youtube and watch fan-made films bro that are better than those last three movies yes a 15 minute fan-made film yeah you know, like, that's pathetic, dude. So, I do think, I feel like Disney was dope up until, like, 2010, maybe just the 2000s, and then just the world started getting more. Like, 2010s, busy. bro, when they were, like, they didn't do the cool shows. Like, they were doing, like, wicked, dumb shows and movies, dude. Right. Even, like, the Pirates movies. I've never watched all of them. The first three were, like, Dope. I know. I've watched the first couple ones, yeah. And then the fourth one, it was, like, a huge drop-off. So dumb, dude. And I, I'm pretty sure they made a fifth, and I guess, so they're making a new one with Margot Robbie. But it's not Pirates of the Caribbean, it's... Is that the hot bitch? Yeah, and I want to see, that's Harley Quinn. I want to see that too, because she's like a really good actress, besides for the fact that she's fucking smoking hot. <laughs> um, there's a movie with her and Simon Pegg, and I, I don't remember what it's called. It's fucked up. But she... She's so good in it, and I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's, she's in Wolf of Wall Street, too, Wolf right? Wolf of Wall yeah. Street, Harley Quinn, um, or I guess Justice League, however I should say that. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen those movies. They're pretty like fucking Suicide good. Squad? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Is that good? Uh, Pretty good. It's pretty See, I heard it was, and I was like, I don't even want to watch it because well, I don't want it to piss me off. It's a bad ending, and uh, none of the characters, I'm pretty sure, were brought back to like a second or th- I don't know. They, I don't get that. They're just... De- uh, is it DC? They're all fucked up. Marvel got that shit down pat. DC's all fucked up. They are up. all fucked up. Batman, bro. Batman. Fucking Ben Affleck was the Batman Justice recently. The Justice Leagues were horrible. Like the Aquaman fucking... I thought the movie was dope. I heard Aquaman is dope. Everything else around it is oh, like, oh. you know? That's the one with the Mo- Moa guy, right? Jason Momoa? Yeah. Yeah. But that that girl that beat Johnny Depp is in Aquaman 2, and like, we're not watching it. Take her out. That's the big thing now. They signed a petition, bro, that had like almost a million fucking... Dude, things. I'll sign that shit fucking... It was like stab. something crazy, bro, and then like, it's a big thing now. I'll sign that shit so fast. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't Fuck them. I feel well, like... I don't know who I blame. The fucking Jews. the goddamn Democrats. That's <laughs> oh. what it is. <laughs> Is that season two? The Dems? The Dems, dude. <laughs> Instead of the Jews. And then they're going to think we're fucking conservatives. And then if they don't, they're going to think we're liberal. I mean, people probably already think we're like hardcore Republican liberal. I'm the Green Party, baby. Yeah. My 1% vote throughout the whole country made a difference this year. I'm the white party, dude. <laughs> Hoods and hands raised. <laughs> I'm the black, red, and white party. Heil. Yes, yeah. I said <laughs> hoods and hands raised. Oh, that's how you said <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I don't know. My look at it is fuck politics. Exactly. Because our taxes are going to be fucked. Gas All is going to be fucked. Fucking stupid. I do like the fact that gas prices have been down for uh, mad long. Um, so I guess I'll jump into this because it's on the same kind of brush we've started this on. What was it? Uh, Oregon or Arizona? They legalized like every fucking Oregon, drug. Oregon, bro. Oregon. Oregon, Oregon. I, I always say Oregon and people correct me, so. That shit blows my mind. That's But wild. it's not like you think it is. It's all decriminalized, kind of. It's so not they, like... they did it so you can get help. Because I guess, like, if, if we were shooting up right now... The like and... methadone clinics. Yes and no. So if I was shooting up right now and I overdosed and the police came in and we had a bunch of drugs, they couldn't do anything about it. Right. But I think there they could have, so they made it so it's like, it's like that. Where, like, 
is decriminalized so you can get help. That's what it's supposed to do, and all money is supposed to be brought into the system for rehab. Well, that's still, if they didn't have that before, good it's, for them. It's something like Jesus that. Cause like everyone's like, you can just do it. I'm like, that's yeah. locked up. There's no way. And then it's like, oh, it's to help people. I, I thought I read that they decriminalized it so that it's not going to be like felonies for anything in that state. Yeah, so I, so I think it's all to get help. That's what the whole goal is. Okay. But mushrooms, you can fucking you can buy at the store. Yeah. That's well, Colorado, stuff. they they did that with mushrooms. Colorado, like that, that shit's wild. Damn dude. near. I, I want to say legalized it. I don't know if it's legal. Yes, yeah, it's legal it's somewhere. Like recreational. It has to be Colorado then, because I saw that passed as well. I was like, wow. Do you think we'll get weed in New Hampshire soon? No, dude. The old people got to die. I'm telling you. I think we might. I really think we might. I don't really see that many people voting for it though. There was another weed thing that was uh, voted for on this on this most recent. Was it? Yeah, I don't remember exactly what it like was, but everyone's got it around us, dude. Once they see the taxes, and we have no taxes, they're like, "Fuck, we don't have to do anything." Yeah, I, I, it's extremely smart economically. Just any, I don't know. I feel like the average person in like the mountains and in northern New Hampshire. <clears throat> which is the majority of New Hampshire, even though there's not that many people there. Oh, bro, I, like, walking in here, you can smell pot. Walking, walking at the store, you smell pot. Everyone smells yeah. pot, bro. If this is South New Hampshire, it's different. True. But that's where... We're, like, technically mass compared to the other I people know, in New Hampshire. True. Like, dude, when I went to Colebrook, they would, like, look at me funny. What are you doing here, boy? Exactly. Like we it's don't like, got bro, that kind of this... beard up here, boy. <laughs> yeah, and my tattoos. And nice shit, little dude. pretty everyone's... chain you got there, boy. Yeah, everyone's in robes and fucking overalls. It's like Jesus fucking the Christ. Amish mafia is up there, dude. <laughs> yeah, they were, oh, my. They were I don't know why they're Australian. Rugged sons of bitches, though. <laughs> they they didn't give a fuck. This guy was just like, yeah, you know, been uh, working like seventy hour weeks out on the farm. He's like, I've actually slept here a few nights. He's like, I think I did. Can't remember. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, dude, you good? I'm like, he was like, he was only like thirty or forty. Like, he wasn't like old. old. <laughs> you're <laughs> like, like, what, Jesus, dude? You yeah. look like you're fucking forty. Right? You're like forty eight, and you're fucking thirty. Yeah. Our <laughs> farming system's fucked up in this country, dude. I actually think it's not bad compared to. Uh... It's definitely gotten better, bro, but think about, watch it, like, like, read up on, like, profits and everything they have to do and all their bills to what the the fucking government pays them and the tax write-offs and, like, the bonuses they give them. Right. And they make, like, no money, dude. Yeah, no, it's they kind don't of make pathetic. shit. It's fucked up that the government should pay farmers for being farmers. They only make money off of the produce, off of their product, not the produce. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And if it's if fucked they up, they get a enough, reduced price. And if it's... If they don't produce enough, they can't make a living. But yet, they're supplying food to, damn, like, everyone, right? Like, damn near the, the world. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. Like, I don't know. It's weird. I know that fucking, those parts of uh, China, they have the farming China. system down. Like farmers and shit are. It's like, like Minecraft over there, dude. They're like they got kings, like... dude. <laughs> Some shit, dude. There'll be a a farmer in China. I, I don't know where I was reading this article. Um, the dude had like hundreds of acres of land. Like it went on for so long, and his house was this gigantic mansion in the middle of all of the land. Mm. It was fucking dope as hell. So it was like convenient shit. Yeah, so like people would come, they could like drive through the farm to get to his house, sell mad shit, get food, and like he was like a millionaire farmer. Like, they got a right. China. We're gonna have to find some different weird shit to say for Biden, because it's not China. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, he says some weird ass shit like that. What? (laughs) Who's there? Yeah, so this video fucking was like Trump trying to break into the White House. He's like, knock, knock. It's me, but it's Trump. I have your wife. All I need is 25 electoral votes yeah, so you can get her back. I've definitely seen that. <laughs> um, So I sent you a video recently that you couldn't see, and it's probably taken down now, so I don't know if we can watch it. But... Was that a vicious cut? I got a first aid kit. I don't know. My tab fell off. Oh, we're good. Oh, that was scary. We'll oh, find man. out in a few seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paint the wall. Um, a dog was breathing underwater in Russia. So, like, 
It so, was like breathing. It's wicked fucked up video, and they did take it down from the internet. I tried Googling it on other shit. You could probably find it on, like, Pornhub or something now, because there's always fucking... What's that other website, that wild one? Well, that's fuck.com is what I always used to go to, but... Nah, it's not that one. Live leak. Live leak is... Yeah, they're pretty twisted. But this video in Russia... So the, the scientists put uh, enough oxygen and something else in the water... So that the molecules of the water literally oh, had oxygen in them. So if you breathed in the water, enough air would go in your lungs that you could breathe the water with the air. Like it would like dilute the water and just the oxygen would go into your lungs. And it was genius the way they made it work. But there's a reason they're testing it on dogs. Because it didn't necessarily work. Still a lot of water gets into your lungs. And they grabbed this dog and forced it into the water, and it was, like, freaking out and kicking, and they finally got it to calm down because it was breathing and blowing bubbles and then started swimming underwater. It was fucking terrifying, fuck, dude. dude. I looked at it, and I was like... <laughs> like, they didn't show, like, the whole thing. You kind of got, like, images and little glimpses of videos. I'm sure it was probably more twisted than even what it looked like, but... I mean, that's some pretty next-level ingenuity. Putting oxygen in the DG. Anal. On anal. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah. It's pretty Would ingenious. Would you do it, though? Try to breathe in the water? If they're like, let me pump you with something, dude. That'd be sick. I don't know. If, I, if they said this pool of water has enough oxygen in it, you could breathe underwater, and it won't fuck your lungs It probably up. fucks you up for a second. It's got to fuck you up, like... A little bit, but that's how you get pneumonia. You get water in your true. lungs. So what if it doesn't work, and you just instantly get pneumonia, and you're just like... <laughs> Like, that shit kills people. <laughs> like, I don't know. That'd be fucked up, dude. We could, like, be Atlantis. Yeah. That could have already been discovered. What about... All right, and we're on the water subject. Yeah. Would you rather know everything about the ocean or everything about space? I, I have seen this question. Um, I, I'm going to go with space 10 times out of 10. Ugh, I'm going to go with the ocean, bro. I think we've actually talked about this before, but I don't know if it was on my... Did we? I don't know if it was on camera. But we did, I feel like we, we spoke about this. I think we this. talked about something maybe about it. I Is think that we on talked a Patreon? about the ocean. Would you rather on the Patreon? Was that one of them? I don't know. Either way, I do remember you saying, like, the water, like, we have no idea and we can only go down. Like, I feel like we'd find more shit in the ocean, dude. Yeah. A hundred percent. Well, I don't know, though. Not I'm, more, like, but, space. Yeah. Well, We'd find I mean, more, like, habitable and, like, realistic shit under the ocean. I, I feel like space is just too much. Like, exactly. Like, they'd be like, oh, we found all this, and you would, like, have to take years to talk about it. You could be like, yeah. the ocean, but, like, yo, we found this squid, bro, that's, like, right. the size of a bus. Or we found this city. Right? That's like, a whole air pocket, and people live in it. Like, <laughs> like I know? feel like you'd find, like, cool shit under there. Right. Like, like there's maybe a crack you could find aliens, though. Could be aliens. In space, too, though. Yeah, in space, that definitely, but I know what you mean, because space is infinite, right? So. Dude, there's no way, bro. There's, there's got to be, like, a black wall where it just stops. No. I know. Well, let's just pretend. No uh, it's just wild, dude, huh? That shit goes and goes. What if it does, and we, because the naked eye can't see outside of the planet. Never mind. So what if there's just a giant wall? What happens if the Earth is flat, bro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, then we're going to die, I guess. All right, if you could rob a bank, what celebrity would you do it with? Any celebrity? And how would you do it, yes. Morgan Freeman. Is it just one celebrity, actually? Yes. Hmm. Any age or right now? Any age, don't matter when, how. Hmm. Could be dead, could be alive. Morgan Freeman's up there because he's got that voice. Which is like both the money and the bag. So would, how would you have him? Ooh, Jay Z. Jay Z. Yeah, put the money in the bag. And he gets all his boys <laughs> with him, dude. Jay Z could do it. He could he do could, it, dude. He would walk into Chia. the bank. And they would probably just be like, "You want the money?" And Jay Z, like, yeah. bro. Chia. Chia. <laughs> We're robbing this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. Um. Yeah, damn. I feel like I'd want to rob it. Fifty cent, bro. With Bobby Lee. 
Bonnie Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be the he put best. Put the mask on, bro, and he'd be like backwards. He's like, put the money in the fucking bag. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. He would probably not put the mask on, but put like a suit on, but just forget to cover his whole head. He would go, cr- I feel like he'd just fucking he would go snap wild, and just start dude. killing people. I feel like that would be amazing to fucking do. With someone like that, I feel like you know, I could put the fucking (laughs) money in the bag. Freak out so much. Fuck. I feel like I could walk in there with Bobby Lee, and then five minutes later, I'll have all the money and then be leaving, and then everyone will still be watching whatever he's doing. Doesn't even matter what he's doing. Like fucking no shit. Yeah, he'll be ass naked in the middle of the bank, just fucking dancing, and everyone will be like, "No, he's not good enough." Ooh, could do fucking like. I don't know. No. Morgan Freeman's a. Can you please put them? I can't do a Morgan Freeman accent. Yeah, that's like a deep, stern, like. Wanna know what I was thinking, dude? Stephen Hawking. I don't think he was a celebrity. Put that shit in the bag, please. (laughs) Please, please. Push the button, I (laughs) blow your brains out. (laughs) Bitch. That's a good movie, The Town, bro. My probably Town my favorite movie. Pretty good movie. Good movie. So, do you think we're going back to space, bro? Okay. So you know how we have like Lord of the Rings, Star Trek, Star Wars, bro? Do you think something like out like those type of things exist out there, bro? Yeah, of course I do. You know, I'm all about this type of shit. Like. I th- I feel like there's a Star Wars type galaxy or universe out there, bro. And there's like a Lord of the Rings or like some weird like dragon and like mythical thing out there. Fuck yeah. There's gotta be, dude. Yeah. Because there's no way someone can invent that. I think the possibility, well, humans did come up with the idea. No, but like I feel like it was like meant to be like the like, yeah, this is out there. Like the universe. But you're never going to know. Right. So I think like, our solar system works perfectly for us with the sun, the distance, but the amount of Do you water think there's the another me out there that's a homosexual? Do you ever think about that? That's like another like parallel universe? Yeah, actually, yeah. I'll get into that right now. That's what you're just about to say. Kind of, but that's, yeah, yeah, I have like dude. 50 theories on it. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I think because, so we're at a, it's a sun and an earth. We got shit ton of water, everything we need to survive. I think there's other solar systems. Because it's a one in a what one in a billion chance that we're like in this habitable planet. <laughs> Look at how shitty we are, dude. Like, <laughs> we just suck. <laughs> I think there's another solar system where there might be like two suns, and maybe they have three planets that they all bounce around to, and there's just five times as many people. That'd be fucking lit, dude. Right, and they probably got dragons and elephants Huge with hogs, a head on dude. each ass type of you know like they got fucking all sorts of weird shit. Well, the black people are racist, dude. How about yeah. that? A planet of all white people. That wouldn't work. That we're trying to go for that now, and it's failing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give it a few years. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till the COVID vaccine comes yeah. up. Then you'll see who starts dying. Yeah. It was tremendous. Do you There's believe no in the parallel universe? Plan. There's got to be. There has to be. You know, the Mandela effect is based on that. So, like, you know, Looney Tunes? How do you spell that in your head? L, I don't know. L-O-O-N-E-Y? I think it's L-O-O-N-E-Y-T-U-N-E-S. That's how I've always remembered it in my head. I do T-O-O-N-S. Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. T-O-O-N-S. But the... Not like that? It's L-U-N-Y. There's no oh, e. the Mandela. Oh, I know what you're talking about now. So the Mandela effect is that we all remember something from our childhood. But it's not Captain right. Crunch has always been Captain Crunch. No, it's Cap'n Crunch. There's no tin. Really? And it's always been like that. It's like since lyrics like the 90s. too, right? Yes. Like Bohemian Rhapsody or We Will Rock You. We the Champions. Yeah. They don't say like of the world or something. It's yeah. like something else. And everyone's like, of the world. Luke, I am your father. Yeah. But it's really like... I am your father. Or no, it's like Luke. Like I, I don't remember. I, no, it's something you know like what that. I mean? yeah, so okay. the parallel universe type of thing is like it was like that, and we all remember it like that because it was like that. But something and you're like communicating shifted, to yourself. And we're in this 
shift of the universe. We're in the strand that went off that we remember it that way, but we actually are in a different one now. It's weird Shit. fucking theories. How about this theory? The Jews are good people. Impossible. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> the Jews are good people. You know, Pennsylvania did the uh, mask at home requirement order. So people inside of their homes. I thought I saw something that I didn't believe to it. wear masks. It's it's a real fucking thing. Oh, and... Yeah, I uh, like that's just come on, dude. Yeah, I don't even know. Imagine <laughs> a cop knocking on your window. He's like, "You guys aren't wearing masks, <laughs> right?" <laughs> Hold up like an AK. You're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, no, what the fuck, dude? That's gonna get a. That's straight up our foundation. Yeah. So, uh, the Boy Scouts, have you been hearing about this? Yeah, dude. And I'm 93... about to put my own lawsuit in and say I got my fucking shit diddled as a kid. 93,700 cases. Oh, wow. In the past, like, year or two that have come up. Like, they're all from, like, across the past 20 years or so. But. Yeah. They're like telling everyone to come forward and come forward, and this is how many ninety three thousand seven hundred cases. Everyone diddles kids, dude. Dude, a hundred thousand, basically, of like pedophilia and touching of children. That's fucked up, dude. And the Boy Scouts are still a thing. And now it's the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, bro. Yeah. They're gonna be fucking boys and girls, dude. I'm kind of surprised that's like. They're gonna be like kid orgies now, with adults. <laughs> it's really fucked up. That is really fucked up. I was gonna make a bad joke too. Uh, yeah, I feel like we've gotten rid of shit a lot quicker for a lot dumber things. Yeah, and this is like so that makes sense, dude. Though, like, I think I was molested because I remember they were tying a knot, right? Is you gonna make that tight tighter than a ten year old, right, Eric? And he winked at me, and I'm like, my butt hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh yeah you should write a letter into the WMUR. i heard there was a lawsuit bro and i was like maybe i did get diddled and didn't know about it that's why i'm yeah. so fucked i don't think i got diddled but i probably could have and repressed it i was a cute little fat kid dude i was just innocent yeah i could have been diddled really easy you're a fuckable kid like i was just a kid that like if you're like yo like can i have directions i'm like yeah, man. I don't know where I'm going either, but I'll help you out. <laughs> like, the little fat kid, bro, if he starts running, you're like, he's fucked. Pedophile is like, hey, you uh, want some candy in my van? I'm like, I love candy, and better yet, I have a penis. <laughs> better yet, on top of that, I love vans, dude. I'm a <laughs> van enthusiast. Like, is this a 5'4"? Is, is that a 5'4 engine in there? All right, keep driving. This kid's fucked. Imagine, <laughs> like, a little seven-year-old kid. She's just like, why, you want to fuck me? And I'd be like, oh my god, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. Um, we should probably take a, a pause. We're 40 in. So, uh, I am not going to shift off on an advertisement, because I'm the advertiser. Go to brutesworld.com, and if you use the discount code TBVPODCAST, 20% off anything in the website. Music, shirts. I have some shirts on there that are like five bucks because I'm just trying to get rid of them. So we'll get it for. We'll have merch soon if you guys want. Right? Oh, I'm getting merch. That was actually going to be one of the surprises. I shouldn't have just told you that. But yeah, merch. Yeah, I, have I haven't one. ordered it yet. But the logo that we got for the pod, it looks real dope on a shirt. I have an idea. All okay, right. I have an idea. We'll talk about it. So uh, we'll be right back. We're back in black. So, we both just did some obnoxious ass. Um, Amazon, the company, put out like a release or an article. What is it? A press release? Is that what it's called? They put some special shit out that they're now going to start delivering prescription medicine. There is an Amazon pharmacy That's branch what? of Dude. Amazon that is opening up where they will start being able to deliver prescription meds. I look at that and say, how? 
I know they're going to come up with some crazy system for it, to be honest. No, like, how do you even, like, how do you go from, like, selling fucking dildos and books right. to selling, like, prescription meds, Dude, bro? I thought Amazon was, like, a monopoly that needed to be stopped. And it's Fuck, just I getting their stocks, bigger dude. and no. bigger, dude. Like, that's I don't know. Weird, bro. That's wild, dude. Prescription meds? I feel like that's a big deal, though. You can't really just fucking deliver them. I feel like getting Valium delivered to my house when it's not in a drug dealer's car is really weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like, no, like, imagine, like, that just makes meth heads want to fucking go get that, like, steal more pack. It's got to be some the sort The Amazon of way. drivers are going to get robbed. Right, dude? Big like, time. What happens if I needed meds and someone stole them? Was like, ooh, this could be oxys or something, dude. They have to deliver those fucking meds to like yeah. armored trucks. <laughs> yeah, right? And they gotta, like, hand deliver them. There's no way. Jesus. And they gotta hand deliver. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but they, they announced it, so. It's a lot of money, dude. Yeah. Holy dude, shit. Jeff Bezos. What a... What a bitch, What dude. a dickhead. <laughs> what a little fucking bitch. You think that guy can fight? <laughs> it sounds like such a hater nah. thing to say. I feel like I'd beat the fuck out of Jeff Bezos, dude. I don't know. I would. I, I don't know what he looks like. I'd I don't know. Spit in my hand and slap his fucking bald head so it like kind of stuck. Yeah. What does he? Do you know what he looks like? Or he's bald. Okay. Tan, and looks like. You know what his height or his weight is? No, but I'd fuck him up. I would fuck him right what up. What if he's dude. just like Dwayne the Rock Johnson? I'd still fuck him up. I don't think so. <laughs> fuck Jeff Bezos, bro. <laughs> he's too rich to fight. That is true. He probably had like pays people to fight for him. True, fuck. I'm gonna get fucked up. Yeah. You're probably just gonna have to bring a gun. I don't know how you'd be that rich, man. Kind of makes me want to just fucking kill myself. I don't know how one person can be that rich. Like, it would make true. sense if a company is that rich. Yeah, like, how much is Amazon alone, bro, if he's that rich? Amazon has to be its own multi-million, probably billion, right? He's a billionaire, bro. It's got to be billion. Amazon's got to be... Is Amazon's worth considered a part of his, you know, worth, net worth? Hmm. Fuck Jeff Bezos. That's crazy. Amazon prescription, Amazon pharmacy. That's like... I don't know. Good luck with that shit, I guess. Google Play, dude. <laughs> huh? Google Play. Bro, fuck. Yeah. What's up with that shit, dude? Because YouTube music sucks balls. Yeah. So confusing. So, All the liked videos I had on Google Play are now on my liked videos on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Anal? Jeez. Oh, fucking Google Play, dude. Google Play is so fucking annoying. Yeah, so I actually think that that is a huge uh, theory to take away the pro- the money that the artists receive from Google Play. So when people have Google Play, they have the option to buy the music. Most people with Google Play buy the music. They don't necessarily listen to Google Play that often. They usually will go to other apps for it. Oh, so yeah, you're saying you can buy albums directly So you can from... buy albums for the full price. You could buy songs for the full price. One stream is worth like one, like t- one ten thousandth of a penny. So now the person can't buy the song from the artist anymore from Google Play. YouTube Music does not give you the option to buy it. You can download it so you can listen to it offline. Doesn't do anything for the artist. So all YouTube did was make it easier for them to have the music in one spot and take away the profit that the artists I were feel getting. like everything I bought I should get reimbursed for. Exactly. Like if it's already free. It, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Everything is Not like from the people I bought the music from, but like Right. They should be like, "Oh, we took this option away, but you already bought this shit." And they should pay all the artists like some like monthly like, hey, this is how much your song was. I don't know. That's fucked up. Like, they dude. fucked. They're fucking little dirty. They're fucking fucks, pieces dude. of shit. Like, little dirty fucks. Little yeah. Dirty boys. Little dirty boys. And uh, that YouTube fucking premium shit, where then I had to get YouTube Music, and then they merged it, and then I had to pay like twelve a month or something. Like, I don't. Know. I was so confused. I was like, "What do you want from me? Just like take my money." I don't. Fuck them. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, 
So, I mean, over the years, iPhones have been like, like they have new headphones now that don't plug into anything else except their phone. Now they have new USB chargers. Oh, I saw that shit, dude. So it's like, I guess it's the old lightning cable, but instead of the USB, it's a fucking micro, what goes into our phone. It goes into the Androids? So, this is what plugs into the block now. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, that's what that is, dude. Because I saw one in the store, they're like, oh, the new iPhone, it has the lightning port still. The iPhone charger. But the end of the the, the thing, it's a micro C, not a USB-A, whatever. Damn. And they're not selling it with the fucking thing, bro. So you have to yeah, buy it separately. Yeah, you have to buy it separately. The, the, dude, they're fucking Jewish as hell. Everyone's a dirty fox too, dude. I don't know why people have iPhones. I really don't. It's because it's easy. I had an iPhone for a year or two, and you're right. That's that's probably the best thing about it. It was fucking. But like, I'll use it was my so easy to communicate phone. with people and like to go on. And it's just media. like the this. Well, like they're turning into Android because like now you can change everything and like make folders. And, okay, that is. Like, I was it's gonna like, say going it's, it's into turning, the phone's mechanics and shit. That's all Android. Like. Yeah, it's it's like turning into Android the way it is. Like you can swipe to chat. Well, I fucking had that my Android bro when I was like right. I had a prepaid phone for twenty bucks a month or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I try to use my girlfriend's phone sometimes, and I want to snap it because I'm just so used to like this. But like when she uses my phone, she can find shit easy. But I feel like when I go to an iPhone, it's like makes me feel retarded, dude. Yeah. I don't know why. I feel like it's such an easier phone to use, but I'm like, where the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't know. I think we're used to going like a few extra steps. Like, what is Safari, bro? On the Galaxy. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. I don't really. I fucking. Fuck Apple. I hate the fact that they do that shit. They make everyone buy their own specific headphone jacks and US and chargers and shit. It's, it's like, why not dirty, just bro. fucking stick with the program? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Apple sucks. YouTube sucks. Yeah. What All the sucks? conglomerates suck. Google. Bullshit. Facebook sucks. Twitter Facebook's sucks. horrible. Twitter's not bad, but they're getting worse. They're getting fucking worse. Instagram's bro. getting worse, but that's Facebook, I guess. Oh, yeah. Is Snapchat still alive? I still go on it, like, yeah. at least once or twice a week. I'm always on Snapchat. I feel like... Picks for days. Yeah, a lot of my friends still use it, but... I don't know. Dude, I wonder what, like, they save on their fucking files, dude. Snapchat? Oh, probably no everything. No way they save dude. everything that's been ever taken, dude. Oh, yeah, why not? Know how big the fucking hard drives they have are? That's a lot, dude. A couple thousand terabytes is probably, like... You can keep like twenty years of pictures in there. Really? Yeah. Think about it. I mean, your phone is what sixty-four gigabytes, one hundred twenty-eight. Yeah, but dude, think about any Snapchats being taken a second, dude. Yeah, but I think those. So those pictures, like, if you think about the actual size of them, I'm getting real technical with this shit for some reason. True, but the size true. of the picture is probably like a megabyte or like five megabytes. And yeah. our phones can hold 64 gigabytes. That's already a shit ton more than that. And then the hard drives they have are a terabyte, which is 1,000 gigabytes, and there's thousands of terabytes. So <laughs> the yeah. size is like... I mean, they can power fucking tanks and satellites and nukes, so I'm pretty sure. That's true, yeah. I'm pretty sure they can keep they pictures. They can fucking annihilate Snapchat. a goddamn country. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays. They could probably blow up the planet. There's probably a big enough... We, have, we can do everything. Yeah. But cure cancer. Well, I mean, like, this, you know, they definitely cured cancer. But <laughs> I feel like there's a big enough weapon on, like, a satellite that can, like, laser the planet. <laughs> yeah. The Death Star, bro. Yeah, right. It's the coming, bro. That'd be sick, dude. That'd be <laughs> so sick, dude. Imagine just, like, waking up, getting the crusty Z eye, looking out the window, and you're like, yo, is that the fucking Death Star next to the moon, bro? Right. Like, <laughs> how big would that thing be? Like, compared to the moon? Huge. It's the size of a planet, bro. So it's that started a lot bigger planet, than the moon? Bro. Yeah, that'd fuck it up. <laughs> Dude, don't talk Star Wars with me, bro. I don't know that much Star Wars. I got Star years Wars. of experience under my belt. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've seen them and I've loved the video games, but I haven't... Like, Have you watched The Mandalorian yet? None of them. Dude, I'm not going to watch that movie you want me to until you watch at least three episodes of The Mandalorian. No. 
All right, man. That's not fair because Django's free. It's been on Netflix for the past like three months. And Has it really still been? Still on there. Yeah. Oh, I would have watched it like years ago. <laughs> no it's been shit. on Netflix for mad long. Yeah. Shit. But yeah. I don't know, dude. This... Well, if I don't, if I can get away to watch Disney Plus, yeah, a hundred percent. But dude, I'm not buying like the... a fucking little trial, bro. No, not worth it, dude. I'm because not... this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna love the show. And then I'm gonna want to buy it, and I can't. Or I'm gonna want to watch the whole thing, and the trial's gonna expire, and I can't. Dude, yeah, you know what? You should wait till end of season two, bro. Get the trial, buy it for a month or two okay. next time. That's it's worth it, dude. That's not a bad idea. I don't watch TV, so but wait it, till the whole thing's out. You mean like the end of this season? I'm like, yo, the season's over. Go okay, watch it. I'll do that. Yeah, you still should watch Django though. It is on Netflix. I, <laughs> I didn't know it was on Netflix this whole time, bro. I'm kind of pissed yeah, it's off. Been on there. I was like, I, I thought gotta rent this. We might have talked about it, but that might have been the night we were lit. Pretty lit then. Yeah, litty titty. Litty titty. Litty yeah. titty club. Oh, herpes in my butt crack. Ooh. Did you see um Rogan's Dave Chappelle and I, I saw it, I didn't watch it came yet. Not today, bruh. I actually want to play something, so this is going to anal for a second because, bro, the way the episode starts is so fucking funny. Um, but it's, I mean, I haven't gotten too, I mean, I'm an hour and a half into it, but. Do you think, bro, he'll get, try to get Trump on, dude? Yeah. I think so. Or Trump, it's either going to be I Trump or Trump Jr. Said it, but now I, yeah. I really, I, I could see Trump Jr. Oh my God, oh, he's all left <laughs> out fucking. Right. Yeah, basically that, that episode is a uh, really That's dope to watch. Sweet. Yeah. I know why. He literally starts off just, what happened to your thumb? I got shot. I got shot, Joe. Just looks over like, what? what? <laughs> you know, he just like doesn't know what to say. Like, he... Where? Well, how? <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be so confused if someone's just like, I got shot. I'd I'd be got like, shot. No doubt. No doubt. No big deal. I yeah. got shot. Like, shot like, my all right, that's the end of thumb, that. Joe. It's like, yeah, I don't want to know anymore. On to my TV show. It's like, what? What do you mean? Obviously, we want an explanation. Yeah, but I still haven't listened to the whole thing. I want to see. Um, I heard Chappelle's just mad classically Chappelle on it, just being himself, being funny as fuck. You know, he's never been on Rogan's podcast. I was gonna say, I feel like I would have seen. I feel like he doesn't do podcast. Rogan? No. Oh, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I, I think he has some shit going. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. How is it after one thousand five hundred episodes? Of the Joe Rogan podcast, almost 1,600, he's never had Dave Chappelle, and he talks about him so much. Well, Dave Chappelle kind of went away for a long time, though. He did, but, like, you'd think in the past, like, two or three years, he would have been on at least once like or twice just, by I now. Feel like, I feel like Dave Chappelle just came back. I think it was, like, two years ago, wasn't it? Wasn't it 2018 or 2017? Because it was, like, a weird thing with him. It was. He, he did the Chappelle show, and then, like, nothing. He did, like, some stand-up, then he, like... Well, yeah, no, because he got into some, like, some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Then he came back. So maybe yeah. just like, maybe, I don't know. Bobby Lee didn't never did it until like the way beginning. Yeah. He hasn't done it yet. Dave Chappelle's low-key the goat. I fucking love that guy. I still think Bill Burr's up there for me. I still think Mark Norman's the best, though. <laughs> oh, he's so fucking <laughs> He's funny. my favorite. Can't get better than that for me. I miss Dane Cook, dude. Dude, it's, have you seen Dane Cook on Theo's fucking podcast? Yes. I love that episode, dude. Bro. That, like, kind of shook me. I, like, forgot that people age. When yeah. I saw him, I was like, holy shit. Dude, I used to watch him, I was like, like growing fuck. up. Dude, stuff. same. Like, like I watched his stand-up on TV. Then. Like, and he was in his 30s then, but it didn't seem like... Yeah, true. Wasn't he on, like, true. MTV and, like, mad other shit? Like, he had stand-up specials out? Yeah, always. Even Daniel Tosh, but, like, he hasn't done anything big since Tosh yeah. Bell got big. Dude, everyone that I've seen talk about Daniel Tosh says he's the... Best and I saw him celebrity. in person. What? I saw him in person at the fucking uh, do stand up, bro. It was the funniest fucking thing ever, dude. That must have been fucking awesome. It was so long. It was His like, stand up's amazing. It's like 2016, I think. Yeah. But it was in the little thing in Concord, bro. It was so fucking funny, dude. That's fucking awesome. Shout out to him for showing love to the little states. He's not from here, right? Not like here, no. but like New England. He hates New England, dude. Yeah. Seems like it. Because he he's fucking—he's a Dolphins fan. Oh, 
He always talks about the Patriots, and then he's like, "New England sucks." <laughs> yeah, because I have he heard him shit. The North, the yeah, I have North-Eastern heard him shit on it before. Tour. Nor'easter. Nor'easter, kid. Dude, when is coming? Fuck. Winter is fucking coming. Fuck. Yeah, dude, we're gonna start doing. So this is a bad time to start season two, but we'll get through it. So. Yeah. Good. Fuck. We kind of uh. Went through like almost all of my shit. Good, I don't because we're Mike stand down. <laughs> have, you, <laughs> have you seen any good shit on Netflix or uh, Hulu or any streaming services? Not you a... already know the motherfucking Mandalorian guy. Oh yeah. No, that shit's dope. Um, what, what, what is the is is it second season Mandalorian? Yeah. And how many episodes are you in? So see, the thing they do is. They when they come up with the season, they do it weekly. They don't drop the whole season at once. Right. So like how? So it's like I think the, today was episode four or five. Do they tell you how Dude, many? Bill are... Burr's in season one, guy. Oh fuck yeah. 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 There's but a lot of cameos too, bro. You watch like Breaking Bad. Yeah. You watched. Right. North Snow. I don't know. That person. <laughs> Deadwood. Is that the thing? Sounds kind of familiar. Dead Dead Wheel? So, some show, HBO show, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other than that? Nothing really. A couple movies here and there. So I watched The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. I was Netflix. told to watch that. Bro. So I, I'm, I'm like a little biased with this because... So I love chess. When Jake was here fucking a week or two ago... We literally sat here, put on classical music, and played chess for an hour or two. Like, dude, if people saw what we did, they would think we're psychotic because Wait, we're just like... The Queen's Gambit. Is that about the Queen? No. What's that movie? The Queen's What's... Gambit is a Netflix... And that, I know that's about the chess. TV show. I was told to watch that, but what's another one that just came out about the Queen? Have I have no that? idea. What... No? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Fucking... Yeah. Is it like a the Queen of England? Yeah. Oh, no, I've... That's I'll kind try of to find it. Yeah. Thomas will go to start a live video. Huddy? All right. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing, dude. Like up there. I'd say like top five shows I've seen in the past five or ten years. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna check that out then. Might be top three. I don't know. That What's shows number one. I I can't get get always sunny and Rick and Morty out of my head. Those Dude, Rick and Morty such a good yeah, cause it's how innovative it is. It's a show that pushes Dude, boundaries. Family Guy is pretty fucking up there. Dude. Nah, I South Park. No, I'm not that. doing all time. I'm doing last like five years. Oh, okay. Yeah, so always sunny's been very consistent the past few years. Uh, Rick and Morty's kind of newer, so they're up there. I'd say Shameless is probably one of the three or four. Uh, The Office is kind of unbeatable the as crown. well. I have seen that. Very fucking good. Okay. Definitely watch The Crown. But this other show, The Queen's Gambit, yeah, it is good. about chess, but the girl is an addict, bro. I guess, I don't know. I might like it so much because it's a chess show, but I guarantee it's like, like I was like, I could not not sit through every single episode and watch the whole thing. The Chappelle show is on fucking Netflix now, bro. Facts. Marty on season three. Oh, shit. <laughs> Or season two. There's only two seasons of that, right? Mom, whatever. After. The first. Well, I what mean, what else? I, We're I fucking back, people. Yeah, I don't really got much else. Um, I could throw in like a. Uh, so like. Sorry. Fuck it. We're gonna promote ourselves. Would. Are we done? You. Rather. Would you rather have? Fifty million dollars cash, but you're fifty-two years old. Or restart your life, but with what you learned. Restart my life with what I learned. Me too. Because I feel like I can make fifty-two million dollars. Fifty million dollars. Yeah. Cash. Yeah. So that's not taxed. You have the no, full like fifty you have, million. You look in your bank account, bro, and it says fifty million. Months no left. questions asked, type of thing. Nope. Fifty-two years old. Yeah, I'd still, I'd still restart. I'd if restart you said forty-two, I might fucking take yeah. that fifty million. I was that's say pretty 60. close. That's on the line there. That's 
Right. Maybe forty five like even. Old. It's fifty two no, is a old, but it's like it's a little far. You can't enjoy that much. Right. You right. can't go fucking scuba diving like, and butt naked. I feel like the most fun you could have with that money is shit. It's just traveling. It's like cool type of shit that you wouldn't really like. I don't know. I feel like if so you're you younger, do at that age. if you're younger, you could get like a yacht and invite like a cheerleading team and then right? like, and like you cocaine can go like and fucking like bungee jumping off yeah. fucking some cool wild shit. hunt people with crossbows. You right, know? dude. Most, yeah, old fucking people do that shit. Right. Would you rather eat glass or eat rusty nails? How big are the nails? How much glass? So, so it's pretty much the same. Shards like this. So like maybe four or five shards like this. Hmm. They're not that thick, but the nails are rusty. Uh, probably the nails. Why? Because the shards get all in you, dude. I think no matter what, you're dying, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm trying to if... think. A rusty nail going into your throat, even if it's like... Because I feel like it'd find a, a half, better way. Inches, it would just pierce, though, wouldn't it? I would think it would... You just... <laughs> but with glass, it's just chopping everything it's up. It's fucking from, from down all here the all way, the way your in. Tongue, you gotta go fucking... nails on that, dude. I think glass would be more painful. Whether you ha- would you have your Tetris shot or not, bro? Yeah. That <laughs> would... <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your Tetris vaccine? I feel like last time I got one, I was like... Two. 26. <laughs> um, I don't know. I got a fucking bunch of weird shots from the military, dude. Did they give me this shot called... They called it the peanut butter shot? I probably talked about this before. Maybe I not. I don't think so. I've never heard this. No? So, no. they call it the peanut butter shot because it's the consistency of peanut butter. The shot? The liquid in the That's shot? That's what they said. And they fucking put it in your butt, dude. Like, on your cheek. And, do this fucking thing. So you go down the line, bro, and they're just, like, fucking giving you shots. I got, like, probably six shots in, like, a fucking ten seconds. So I'm sitting there, and fucking everyone's all fucked up. Like, we're all in a fucking room, like, nut to butt. And, like, oh, if you feel, like, fucking dizzy or anything later, just, like, let us know. Oh, fucking everyone's, like, all fucked up. Like, we're dizzy, we're dizzy. I'm like, fuck it. Uh, I'm a little dizzy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, okay, just take a seat. And then they fucking like, all right, like, pull your butt cheek out and they fucking give you the shot, dude. It fucking feels like your ass is being filled. They have to like rub it in. And then they fucking turn around, bro, and they give you smelling salts. Dude, you don't even know. And you're fucking like, what the fuck is going on, dude? But that fucking that thing hurt. That sounds like... Dude, that thing hurt for like three days, dude. It, it sounds a little inhumane. It fucking hurts so bad, dude. Jesus oh. Christ. I'm yeah. surprised I haven't heard that in like a movie or something. Well, you heard it right here, guy. <laughs> God damn. I have some pretty fucking wild stories, dude. We should probably get into them maybe next week. Well, we'll get into one. Let's see. What's a good one? One time they fucking kicked us out of the barracks, dude. Okay. Right? Did, what'd you do? So fucking... Everything's supposed to be clean, and apparently, like, there was, like, a dust bunny behind one of someone's locker, bro. So he fucking starts... Yeah, the drill sergeant. Drill sergeant, sorry. And fucking, he's smoking us, fucking... Just fucking torturing us, and he's like, I want you guys out. We're like, what the fuck is he talking about? He's like, (laughs) I want your beds, your mattresses, your lockers, everything on this front lawn, fucking all unison, dude. We're like... Dude, is this dude for real? Oh my god. So then a bunch of other ones showed up to like, nah, like, get the fuck out. So, so then, bro, we start fucking packing all our shit, bro, and someone, someone's bringing a wall locker down the wall, the hallway, bro, and it falls on him down the oh stairs, my god. dude. Uh... Dude, it fucking <laughs> fell on his leg, dude, and they thought he snapped it because he was fucking screaming. Oh, I bet, yeah. As soon as he started it's screaming. It's like a big metal locker, like dude, a giant fucking, it took like, like a six, seven It took seven three foot. to four people to lift these fucking things okay, up, dude. Okay, yeah, and it fell on him. And it fucking fell on him, dude. Christ. It didn't break his leg, but dude, he started screaming. As soon as he started screaming, our first sergeant came in, who's in charge of everyone. Like, the drill sergeants and us. Okay. Dude, the drill sergeants were getting... Fucking screamed at, dude. Really? And the, the first one was like, put all the shit back and fucking stay in your room. 
You heard him screaming out that you don't fucking do that. What happens if he snapped his neck and you fucking killed him? Blah, yeah, blah, blah. right. Dude, they came back and we'd not get sleep that whole night because they smoked the living shit out of us, dude, because they got fucking yelled at. Dude. Yeah. That damn. was one of the funniest fucking things though, dude. Oh, that Christ. shit was awesome, but dude. But, you know, like, turn of events, what if that kid fucking died? Right, like, dude? That would have been bullshit, be fucked dude. fucked up, like... Because we're that kinda, that, moving us out. Fuck them for getting you guys afterwards. I mean, it was still fun. I guess. It was Not fun, so but, like... fucking funny, yeah. dude. Well, how much time do we got? I got? I got a good one, dude. Yeah, no, go rail it out. So, dude... <laughs> we got at least 10, 15 minutes on this. Dude, fucking... <laughs> There we are, bro, going to bed one night, right? And fucking the kids I'm in the room with, we like would talk at night and whatnot. He's like, I'm going to the vending machine. And we're like, dude, what? So like there was like building, 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 and but in the middle there was a store that we go to. Okay. That's dope. A bunch of vending Where was machines. this again? Sorry. This was in uh Fort Leonard Wood in Missouri. Okay. When I was in basic training. So fucking dude, he's like, I'm gonna climb out this window, jump down, jump down, run across the street. And we're like, dude, you, you can't do that. Yeah, but like what? you're gonna get caught. He's like, nah, trust me, I've been... jump down two stories. Yeah, no, jump. We were on the second story. Okay, so jump down one, then. Okay. So he was like, fucking, I had, I kind of have a plan, blah, blah blah, and I'm like, I ain't involved in this, dude. But if you go, here's a fucking dollar fifty. Get <laughs> yeah. me some fucking candies. Make so it. fucking, he's like, I'm going, I'm going. The other kid's like, I'll come with you. I'm like, there's two of you guys going, bro. <laughs> so they climb out my fucking window, bro. Oh no. Next to where I'm sleeping, bro. Yeah. Like, close this. Don't That's let us mean. Don't let us in. Like we're not we're gonna come back in, like you'll know when we're back. I'm like, all right, man, but if I'm sleeping, bro, you gotta try to wake me up and not make it obvious. Bro, I'm fucking laying there and I'm like, I don't know how long it's been, but it feels like a long time. <laughs> and I was like, nah, it's fine, it's fine. I'm like I can't even go piss because you're supposed to fucking report in the middle of the night when you go and piss. What? Really? And they write your name and time down because they take your weapon. Oh, okay. And I was like, fuck, they're going to go back and be like, you were fucking up. Yeah. And you notice these two kids weren't there. So I'm like, fuck, I got to piss. And I want to look out the window to see if I can see them. It's like, fuck, dude, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm going to lay here, go to bed. Fucking tossing and turn. I'm like, dude, it's been a long time. It could have been a couple minutes or a long time, but I was like, it's been a while, bro. Yeah. So, I'm like, fuck it. I'll just lay here. If they, when they fall, I'll stay awake. Fuck it. I fucking hear something outside. Open the window, dude. This kid's climbing up the window. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> fucking laying on the floor. Out of breath. I can't breathe. He's like, they got him. And I'm like, what? He's like, they got him, bro. They caught us. I was like, dude. Don't. Oh, no. I was like, you're lying, dude. He's like, nah, man. I just ran so far away, bro, into the dark, ran all the way around, and he was there, bro. He wouldn't run away with me. I'm like, dude, are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? So I'm like, we're fucked. Like, we're all going to be right. fucked. Yeah. So I'm, like, I'm like, I'm going to bed, bro. You do your thing, bro. I was never involved in this. I fucking lay on my side. I turn around to try to get comfy. The fucking hallway lights come on. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, fuck. And I hear, everyone better get the fuck up oh, right boy. now. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They come in our room screaming like crazy, dude. I'm like, we're all like sleep. I'm like, pretending I'm sleeping. They're like, don't pretend you're sleeping. I'm like, I'm sleeping, bro. Like, so, so we know. I'm and sleeping, like, man. So I guess so that all happened, bro. They fucking kept us up all night. We were fucked. But it was so fun. Dude, that shit. Like, I look at that, back at that. I'm like, I would do it all over again. Yeah. But I guess the kid, bro. So they're at the vending machine. They made it there, and fucking pickup truck pulled up, bro. The kid that ran away looked at the truck and fucking ran. The other kid looked at it and hid behind the vending machine like they didn't see him. Oh, my God. So, like, he was just like, and the guy comes out, he's like, I can see you. And then, like, you guys, he, like, tried to go behind. He's like, do you think I'm retarded? He's like, I can see you. And he's like. I guess you caught me. Like he was a southern guy, and I was like, "Oh, oh no. that's so fucking funny." Damn. But yeah, dude, that was fucking good. What shit. do you mean by they keep you up all night? Like we did like exercises for like three straight hours. Ah. In the hallway, Damn dude. We sucks. used to do these things called bear crawls. You know, like a bear crawl. Mm. What that means is each go by ourselves up and down the hallway and say, 
roar, I'm a bear, roar, I'm a bear, <laughs> up and down the hallway, bro. And like, we were like, we were like, kind of caught on, like, what they were doing to her, like, we would fucking like, roar, I'm a bear, like, wicked deep voices yeah. and shit, and like, fucking, roar, I'm a bear, like, just fuck. And they'd be like, oh, fuck, we, they're, they're saying like, it. They're like, yeah, I guess it's funny. <laughs> Damn. Uh, that does sound kind of fun. Like, it, yeah, like, yeah. What, it, the time sounds like, better than college. Sucks, <laughs> dude. That shit was so fun, dude. Yeah. And then those times, like they'll kind of like you, but like, not like befriend you, but like the like they, dude. Since the day I showed up, they never fucking knew my real name. They knew me What'd by you... nicknames, bro. Really? First, it's like private z- z- alphabet. You got every fucking letter in your fucking name, and I can't pronounce the fucking thing. Blah blah. blah. I'm like. Oh fuck! Is that me? And I'm like, uh, is it CCI? Am I okay? He's like, yeah. What the fuck is that? Blah blah. blah. And I'm like, oh, you just gotta pretend the C sign. He's like, I really don't give a fuck. Yeah, he's like, yeah, shut the fuck I'm up. Like, all right, okay, yeah, yeah. You're like, all right, I'm alphabet. Like, You're alphabet. Now. <laughs> I'm like, that ain't bad. And then fucking like three days later, someone's like, he's like, how do you say that? It looks like Xerxes. And ever since that day, bro, that all they called me was Xerxes. It was kind of dope, dude. Xerxes ain't bad. Yeah, yeah that's kind of cool. But they never knew my name, I don't think. Yeah. They really never did. Imagine someone just like, yo, Xerxes, Xerxes. They're like, I don't, what's his actual name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, shit, I, I actually forgot his name. But yeah, and then I was the house mouse, because I asked, we had no toilet paper, bro. It sounds like the house bitch. And then we had, like, little, like. What's, what? Is house mouse like so fucking? I had I, so I asked him, Kim, like, yo, where are we get toilet paper? He's like, oh, I gotta ask him. So I asked the drill turn. He's like, okay, really private. He's like, you have no one that does this. I'm like, no, he's like, you're the house mouse now. You can make a list, whatever you need, I'll get it for you guys, but it's gotta be from the house mouse. And I'm like, okay, oh. so I'm like, does anyone need anything? I'm making yeah, a list. Can you okay, clean here? No, All right. you, don't, you do? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Never got any of this shit. I made a list for one. <laughs> it would just magically show up or fucking over really? time something would show up. Okay, yeah. They never fucking gave me it or fucking got it. That's pretty funny, though. Yeah. Damn. And that was all in. A couple months, dude. A couple months so and all stories, in basic bro. training. That wasn't like. That was just a couple months of basic training. Bro. Damn. I have so many fucking stories, dude. Did you have. Anything other than the basic training? Then I had my job training. Your job training. Which was like 10 weeks, too. Yeah. I got plenty of stories of that fucking place, too. Yeah. Dude, even like... We can go into another... We're at at 43. We can stop and restart. Dude, even being in the reserves, bro, like just doing the one week in a month, whatever, a couple weeks in the year, bro, I have so many fucked up stories that like I look back and I'm like, I really hope like I never forget that, dude. Yeah. Because it's like... Keep a... I would write them down. Yeah. Draw a picture. I don't know. Like, that was the biggest thing when I was getting out. I dude. mean, they're on the podcast now, so. Yeah, right. We'll just keep telling all of them, so then they're all right, throughout dude. the podcast. Yeah, fucking Eric's weekly fucking story. Yeah, dude, I wanted to talk to you about you having a solo podcast, too. Like that cold one. Shout out for them for an answer in my sponsorship. Um, yeah, I hit a mad sponsor of fucking things, but uh, yeah. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Huh? We should, yeah. We'll go. Well, I'm probably, it's probably only going to be an hour and a half. I got to cut at least 15, yeah. 20 minutes of this, but yeah. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll say this now because I, I always forget every episode. Call 603 922 4074. Email Brutes. Nope. Email TBV, TBV Pot. Pot. Cast. No. Email BrutalView at gmail.com. It's not, yeah, I fucked that up all three times. We should have made it. I, I should have made it TBV podcast. I don't know why I didn't. It's brutalview at gmail.com. Again, the number is 603-922-4074. Now it sounds like that ain't correct. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. Fuck off. Um, this is season two. We're back and better than ever. We're fucking black and we're so much better than ever. We're, we're going to have fucking merch dropping. Yeah. We're we, going to have merch, guests dropping. Mad guests in We're going to have bitches dropping. We're getting a strip pole in here. Yeah. Um, We'll put a little video on the corner of the screen of what's allowed. Sure, yeah. Just hype them up. Just hype them up. Just keep going. We're uh, getting, uh, you, everyone's going to get money. Yes. If yeah. You, if you sponsor If you us. like and share <laughs> the video, we'll send you dick pics. Penis pics, not even ours. A Bernie's dead ass. Bernie. All sorts of dick pics. Um, no matter what color you wanted, we can even go as far as butthole pics. We can start an OnlyFans. Okay. <laughs> uh, but no, if you would like to sponsor us, 
If you're a local business or someone, reach out. Yeah, reach out, please. We're kind of not that big anymore. I mean, we're not that small. We're kind of getting a little big. We got people listening in uh, yeah. France. Yes. And Germany. The Europeans are fucking the Europeans listening are now. hopping on. The Europeans. So. Yeah. We can start. We got new studio shit. We're going to get even more set up going. It's just, this is just the beginning, you know. Just got to get my feet wet with the new place. Um, So we're, we'll be. uh, We're back. Yeah. Patreon's gonna be dropping like fires. We're not fucking leaving. We are back and patreon.com slash TBV podcast. Please sign up. If it's not just to support, you do get early access to the episodes. And if you go any higher, you can call in. You can be a guest on the show. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, we generally ask you, generously ask you to like it. Because YouTube's fucked. Like it, subscribe, and hit that bell. Or you can even like it so the algorithm works for us so we can get more views. Yeah. Because liking YouTube it sucks. works. Well, liking it and leaving a comment is what. Oh, YouTube, is it? Yeah. But liking it still helps. Yeah. YouTube's a piece of shit. Yeah. Fuck YouTube. But, but if you're just listening, yeah. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Tell your friends. I think, I, yeah, I think most of our shit is for listeners. I don't know how much listeners.